what's up YouTube? Pilot Trap here with my AB Pro. Just out here at the airport. Um, about to do a little flight sneak one in. We had so much bad weather last couple weeks, maybe this whole month, that uh, I couldn't really get a flight in. Clouds were too low. Uh, couldn't really do no IFR training, so I was just studying. But basically today was a you know fairly decent day to go up. Very moderate turbulent up there, but um, and I can't handle, but uh, I ran into a problem. So as I get here to the airport, start my pre-flight checklist, go through all the plane and, you know, um, try to get, you know, ready for flight and everything. Do all my checks, check the propeller, check the wings, you know, flaps down, you know, checking all the hinges and everything. So I finally get to the engine and, you know, we got two sides in our engine cowling so open the uh, right side first everything looks good mags are um, in place spark plugs I mean are in place and uh, wires are looking nice and then I get over here to the left side and so it's very important to do your checklist it's very important to your checklist when you go and do your um, pre-flight because you don't want to miss anything you want to touch every wire you want to uh, be engaged with everything on your airplane helicopter coming i have to cut this out oh let's just look at it really quick so dope fireman where are we at where are we at here we go here we go there they are shout out to these guys man pretty dope But anyways, back to what I was talking about. So important to do your uh, pre-flight because you don't want to miss anything. Get engaged, touch everything to see what's going on, see if anything is loose, breaking off. I haven't caught many things before, before flight because I um, touched and I pulled, not really hard, but just to see if anything was loose. So I was going in here today and uh, as you can see, here's my engine. And basically, here's a coil right here connected to my magneto. I don't know if you can see it right here. And this white cord right here was detached. Now, uh, connects to my magneto uh, filter to my magneto. So, basically, I'm not going up with that off. So, um, you know, that's why it's so important to, to do your pre-flight. Touch everything. I mean, checking your fuel checking your pedo you know stall warning uh, what else we got I always check my landing gear the wells to make sure there's nothing up in there because when I put my landing gear up I don't want um, something to block it to where my gear is not going all the way up you know we check we check our landing lights there's two on each side my strobe um, nav lights, flaps, ailerons, I mean, flaps, you know, and then also my elevator and my rudder. So we just check all that just to make sure that everything is good. Like I said, go physically touch everything, get familiar with whatever, whatever plane, especially at a flight school because so many students fly. Uh, the planes at the flight school is that you don't know what got loose. You don't know what the last pilot did. So you want to make sure that you are engaged with that airplane while you do your pre-flight. Um, me as a plane owner, I also have to take precaution because uh, sometimes the plane is not flown frequently or after a, you know our last whoever's last flight could have been a long one and vibrations and all this stuff things happen. You want to go in there and you want to um, make sure everything is good. So the importance of um, pre-flight is just detrimental to any pilot's flight, any anything. Um, just kind of want to touch that with you guys and um, be safe out there uh, because, you know, we are the future pilots. General Aviation, we are it. And they're gonna need us. Airlines are gonna need us. So, hey, y'all know my motto. See you in the sky.